Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So if you want to get highly paid in IT, there is a simple success mantra. Learn the rare skill set. Of course, you cannot learn any rare skill set, but learn the rare skill set that has the potential to grow in the future. For example, if you go back to 2010s, everybody was learning development or QA, but very few people focused on DevOps and majority of them were system administrators, build and release engineers who found DevOps relevant. But what happened in the late 2010s during the COVID era, companies started adopting DevOps, even the startups, mid-scale organizations, everyone started adopting DevOps, but they could not find enough DevOps engineers in the market. So the requirement was high, demand was high, and the supply in the market was less. Because of that, DevOps engineers were heavily paid in the market. It went to the extent where some of the DevOps engineers were paid even more than the software developers in top companies. Now there is a similar opportunity for MLOps and even LLMOps. Let me explain. In the last few years, you must have seen companies adopting AI, companies adopting ML, because it has become very simple for the companies. With AI agents, with large language models, adopting AI and ML has become simple. Now, ML was there for a long period of time, but in last two years, the number of companies that started building their ML models has grew almost to 10 times. Now, at this point of time, machine learning engineers are still the ones who are building the models, who are deploying the models, and who are placing the models in the production. Even when it comes to model monitoring, it is taken care by the ML engineers. But as this continues to scale, at some point, companies will realize they need a dedicated team for it. And that is where MLOps will come into picture. The same is with LLMOps as well. Today, AI engineers or ML engineers, they are working on building their own LLMs or SLMs, deploying their own LLMs or SLMs. But at some point, again, it can be one year or two years down the line, companies will realize how important is a dedicated team for MLOps and LLMOps. And that is when they will start looking at the market and MLOps or LLMOps engineers will be heavily paid in the market. So when there is an opportunity and when you know that such opportunity will come, why do you want to ignore? So that's why in 2025 or in early 2026, make sure you learn MLOps or LLMOps, especially if you are already working as a DevOps engineer. It is very easy for you to make this transition because most of the keywords are same. Most of the concepts are same. Only the implementation of those concepts is different. For example, today as DevOps engineer, you are implementing CI CD for your organization. You will implement CI CD and continuous training for your models. The concept is same, but the implementation and the tool chain is different. So once again, if you are working as DevOps engineers in the current organization in early 2026 or late 2025, make sure you spend some time to learn this rare skill set. If you are working as system administrators or build and release engineers or QA engineers and want to transition to DevOps, you can still go ahead with it because DevOps is going to be there till the time software development or even AI agents are going to develop the applications, you will still find the scope for uh, learning DevOps and getting placed as DevOps engineer. So do not confuse between DevOps and MLOps. They are two different sectors or they are two different uh, things. DevOps is for traditional software development applications and MLOps is for ML models or LLMOps is for large language models. So they are completely different. Now, how do you learn MLOps? Again, it's very simple. You have 
enough resources on the internet even if you go to our youtube channel we have mlops playlist there i have already uploaded seven videos on mlops you can get started for free and in future i am going to upload a udemy course for mlops which is going to be a comprehensive mlops course right from basics of mlops to implementing a real world project related to mlops i'll also share my personal freelancing experience through that udemy course and coming to llm ops i would say first start learning ml ops and only then go to llm ops because at some point llm ops is a sub module of ml ops finally i will share a detailed road map link in the description by going through the road map you can understand what concepts you need to learn to become ml ops engineer in 2026 i hope you found this video informative if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section see you all in the next video take care